I want to talk to you guys about something that I know we're probably like so tired of hearing or so tired of seeing it or so tired of like trying the things that we're told to do to feel it, but still feeling like it's evading you. Um, it's self-love. And uh, I don't know if it'll be a series. We'll see. But tonight, I just want to talk to you guys about that and a real talk. And um, I hope that this finds you where you are. And um, I hope it helps. Okay, so let's get into it. I feel like when the trend started with self-love, we started like, okay, do stuff for yourself. Like, get your nails done, get your hair done. If you're a guy, um, you know, keep yourself up. And, and these things are important. I don't want to make it seem like it's not important. But I think that we, we started to think about, like, um, giving ourselves the acts of service that we give other people. But what I'm finding in myself, and let me know if it's true for you, is that the grounding of self-love that I've needed my entire life um, was definitely acts of service to myself. But it started with um, worthiness. It started with feeling worthy of it. And, and if I go even lower than that, it would start with self-acceptance. And so... I want to talk about that really because how can you love yourself if you don't truly accept right if you don't first accept everything else will always end up being busy work but deep down underneath there's this feeling of having to feel like you have to always be on or having to feel like you have to always be perfect or having to feel like you have to always be first or you have to always win or you have to always be seen or you have to always just be seen in a good light because in truth underneath you don't feel maybe you don't feel like a good person or maybe you don't feel like um if people were to see the parts of you that weren't as pretty it weren't as shiny that they wouldn't stay and so i'll share a story with you guys really quickly when i was an undergrad um I was in um, my private uh, lessons with my vocal coach and she had picked this song for me and I was like, this is really easy. I was looking over the sheet music and I was like, it was very simple, but it was a lot of high and lows, right? And so I'm thinking like, oh, I'm about to kill this because that's, that's the natural like aesthetic of my voice, switching between my head and my um, chest voice very fast. And so I go to sing the song. And so when I hit the part where I'm switching between no change of heart, change in me. She said, now, okay, let's go back. And she's like, okay, now let's do this part over. But this time, don't switch your head voice. Sing it, let it come here, and then hit it. And so I was like, I'm sorry, what, what, are you, what, what are you saying? What do you mean? <laughs> and she's like, don't, don't, don't do. She's like, I know what you can do, but I want you to keep keep the sound in your chest keep it moving here um and so i was like okay so i'm just singing the song but in my dark despair i slowly understood that perfect world out there now that's what i wanted to do but she wanted me to sing it here right so i'm like that perfect world out there now that sounds good now but then to me it sounded like trash and I was like, <clears throat> let's run that back. And so we kept doing it over and over. And next thing I knew, I was in tears. And I was like, why am I crying? Like, why am I crying? And 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 so she asked me the question. She said, why, why are you crying? And I was like, it does, I don't like the way my middle voice sounds. And she was like, why don't you like the way it sounds? It doesn't sound bad. And I was like, it sounds so underdeveloped. It sounds so childlike it sounds and so and she just kept asking me to explain and she was like it doesn't sound as bad as you think and then as I started crying I realized why I was crying and I said I think it's that that's the part of my voice that's the least developed and I was afraid to show that because I know if I do all of the things that I'm good at, of course, you'll clap and you'll say great and you'll want to hear more. 
But if I showed you the part of me that's undeveloped and that that's not as unique, it made me feel like you would think I wasn't good enough or you wouldn't see me the same way. And child, when I say I just boo-hoo, now I'm thinking she just picked this song because it's the easy song. And whole whole time I fell into a trap. And the trap was for me to see that I was, I thought I could go into a private lesson with my vocal coach and just show the parts of me that had been perfected and that had been in the light a long time. And that wasn't her job necessarily. The job was to develop the whole Tia, the whole voice. And when I had to show the parts of me that I didn't feel like had, ooh, why did I fucking about to cry? When I had to show the parts of me that I felt like weren't worthy, I was scared. And I cried because I felt like because I showed that, because you can hear it, you're going to take away the title you gave me. You're going to take away, you know, even even me being known as the Tia Skipper, I didn't give that to myself. Like, people used to call me that all the time, right? And so, what if they heard the Tia Skipper um, singing her middle voice and she sounds like a little girl? Like, who's going to root for that? Who's going to want that? Who's going to book that, you know? And I'm sharing that story with you because this is the same thing that we do with ourselves. And so, why we... While we love scrolling on Instagram and, and seeing posts on nine ways to love yourself or reading a blog about it, the truth is, is that it's not just taking care of your outside, which that is important, but it is exposing the parts of you, letting breathe, letting the parts of you that haven't had as much light, get some light. It's, it's, is realizing that to some parts of you, you've been a great mother. And to other parts of you, you've treated that part like a stepchild. And there are parts of you that feel orphaned and haven't had the set, the, the opportunity to get as much light as the other parts of you. And, and it's because maybe some of those parts aren't as polished or um, other people didn't think or made you feel like those parts of you weren't important or weren't pretty or weren't worthy. And so I just want to do these talks with you guys, even if not for you, I feel like I need to do them because even talking to you now, like I feel like crying also that time of the month. If you want to learn self-love, you have to learn and accept that all of you needs light and love, not just parts of you. All of you need to live needs to live and experience this life, not just parts of you. That's why self-love is so important. It's not because if you don't love yourself, you won't find love in the world. Yes, you will. There are listen, you not loving yourself does not stop other people from loving you. You can't control other people's love. People will come into your life and love you. There are people in your life who love you now. The reason why self-love is so important is because the only way to let yourself be in this world authentically is to love who you are. It takes courage. It takes courage and it's not an easy thing because people do laugh at you and people do talk about you and, and people do mock you and people do do all these outside things. That's why you need love within because you cannot count on the love that's in the world. And, and self-love is so important right now. It's so, so important right now because literally I feel like the love in the world is evaporating. I, I literally was like, okay, God, is it me or, or does it feel like love is disappearing? Is it me or does it seem like it's getting, it's getting pettier out here that, that instead of going high, so many more people are going low on purpose. And so what's happening is if we do have to reproduce self -love or love, if love is leaving, if, if, it, if it's seeming that you don't see it as much, then we have to grow it. And where do you grow love? Where do you generate it? How do you get it here? How do you, how do you uh, bring it back to, to earth? How do you recycle it? The plant, which is you. And in a loving state within yourself, you will be the generator for love here. I hope this video helps. Um, 
to where you are right now. I'm going to post a, a tag, one of my songs below. It's called I Love Me. If you've been following me and following my music, you already know it. And it's probably already a favorite to you. But if this is your first time listening to me or seeing me in my video. Click the link below. I know you will love the song. It's been healing to so many people, including myself, even though I wrote it. Um, so I love y'all. I'm going to get out of here. And until next time, until next time, <laughs> all my love.